Hi, Hi True girls. girls! I'm Erin. And I'm Abigail. And we're here to do a little basketball workout with you guys. I think we'll have some fun today, so come join us. We're going to start with some warm-up. Always going to warm up our muscles and get ready to move and have a, a little workout. We're going to work on some shooting, some right form, some passing, some dribbling, and some body position. So let's start with a uh, warm up. I know that right now everything's really difficult with quarantine, so we can't, uh, all of us don't have the space we want or we can't even get into any basketball courts. Everything's blocked off, even the public ones at the parks. So we have a little space here in our backyard and so we're gonna use this. If you have your living room, you can move some furniture. We try to pick things that you can do basically in one spot and maybe in the future we can do something out at a gym or where we have more space and we can actually shoot on a hoop and stuff. But let's get started. We're gonna start with something called rear kicks, high knees, and karaoke. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching and then we'll get right into it. So rear kicks are something that I like to do. You put your hand behind and you wanna hit your hands with the back of your feet. So you start like this. Do one or two? Should we do another one? You want to touch your hands. Just warming up your quads, getting everything moving. Abby, keep going. Good job. Next, we're going to do one called um, high knees. We're going to bring our hands to here. We're just going to hit our knees with our hands. And if you don't have space, you can just do it in one spot. You can just do it like this, or you can do it like this. So we're going to just go back and forth with high knees. All right, ready? Good job, Abby. <laughs> we'll just do one this time. Now we're gonna do something called karaoke. It's a little tricky. Maybe you've done it before. One foot in front, and then one foot in back. You want your shoulders to stay facing this way and your hips to move. So I like to do a high knee over and then behind. See how my shoulders stay still and my hips are rotating? Now you do the other leg. One over, one behind. It's tricky. <laughs> it's really tricky. Kind of put, uh, strengthens your mind as well. Let's do one fast. If you, good job, Abs. Good job. All right. High five. So now let's just do a little quick stretching. Just grab down. Grab your ankles. Grab, if you can, with balance. Take your foot behind. You can use your buddy if you need to. <laughs> oh, good balance. Pull your leg up. We're not going to do a lot of running, so we won't take a whole lot of time with stretching and warming up. But anytime you do anything, you don't want to pull a muscle, so it's good just to warm up a little bit. You feeling good? <laughs> All right, let's get the ball out. If you don't have a basketball, you can use anything you want. You can use a volleyball, a soccer ball, um, anything, a sock, roll up a bunch of socks. <laughs> um, we're gonna start with some shooting form, but every time I do anything with basketball, I like to warm up my hands. This is just called quick fingers, and I'm just pinching the ball with my fingertips. I'm not letting the ball sit on the palm of my hands. You really don't want the basketball on the palm of your hand flat in, basket, in any part of the game. Shooting, passing, dribbling, you want a little pocket of air in there. See how I shoot and I kind of hold it? Even when I'm passing, I don't want to pass with my palm. So to get that ready and that feel on my fingertips, I pinch the ball. See how I'm going back and forth? It's kind of like I'm doing this motion. And then I can just move it up. See how the ball's moving? You want to try it, Abs? Sure. There you go. So you're just sort of pinching it. There you go, perfect. Do the up, down. I've played basketball a lot of years. I played professional basketball. Abigail's even younger than I was before I started. Three years later, I started playing. Another one is just passing, one hand to the next. So you're just kind of catching it. Look at it if you need to. It's nice always to practice using the ball looking up so you don't even see it. If you get a ball for it, you can kind of throw it over your hand a little bit. Just play with it a little bit, you know, kind of throw it around your waist. You just want to get a feel. So you start twirling it a little bit. And that gets you feeling the ball a little bit. Sometimes we wake our hands up, slap the ball. I'm going to try a little slapping, it's kind of fun. Not too many times you can hit things and your mommy's telling you to hit things. <laughs> Good. Now, right now we don't have a hoop. We have a little one over there, but if you have a hoop, that's great. If you don't, you can use every shooting drill for against a wall. You can just pick a spot on the wall and you just practice. Now I want to start with this. 
You can put the ball between your arm, and if you see this shape of my arm, it's like a letter C, right? Do you see the C in there? I don't know if it's backwards on the court. You want to try it, Yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna, that's how you're going to hold the ball. You want that space in there that you could even fit a ball in there. So if you caught the ball in a game, you pull it up, see the C? That's the proper form for your arm. Now, like I said earlier, you want to just let the ball rest like a little nest. See the space in there I talked about earlier? Now, when you shoot, you always want your shoulders, your feet to be shoulder width apart and a little bounce in your knee. Basketball is not played with straight legs. Any part of it, basket and defense, yeah, good job. Offense, none of it, it's always down in this position. So your knees are a little bent, your, shoulder, your feet are shoulder width apart, you've got your arm in this position, and you just rest the ball right in there. Now, when you're at home and you're just gonna practice, in a second you can do that, you just go up, you lift your elbow up, and you just flick your wrist. See how that works? Got your balance, your feet are a little bit. I like to put my right foot forward just a little bit, and it just all is one motion. So even without the basketball, let's just try it without the basketball first. Just go up, and make sure your elbow stops above your eye. Your fingers are pointing towards your hoop or your target. You can get a piece of tape, put it up against the wall, and just shoot and practice. So right now, just because it's a little high, I'll do it right up here, Abby. We have a, a, a little wall above there. I'm just gonna shoot and let it come back to me. Just shoot. Now one thing you wanna do is you wanna snap your wrist at the top so the ball has a backward rotation. That's good, Abby. Yeah. So you just go up and catch it down or let it bounce, whatever you want. And you can do 20 of those. Pick one spot on the wall and just see if you can, if you can hit the same spot 20 times. Now if I can go sideways and show you. If you don't have a wall, just have it drop right in front of you. Just like that. Pick a spot and have it drop right in front of you 20 times. You're just getting used to the form. Abby, you want to try it? Yeah. Right, why don't you get it? Go. Good. Now you want it to try to go straight up and straight down. Perfect. And right now with the lines, the grip, I like to do it just even so it's the same way. So if it doesn't turn that way, it just is a little cleaner. Just up and down. Want to try it? Okay, so you want to get your feet shoulder width apart, a little bounce, shoulder width as long as, yeah, a little bounce in your knees. You get the C in there, right? You can, you, if you want to or you need to, you can just catch and hold the ball. You can move it up like this. See, your arms and you guys are, girls are a little bit smaller, so the idea is there. And then you're just gonna go up and click, and the ball will have a back spin. Can you try? Nice, nice. Now that's the point. You'll see at, at first you're gonna go a little to the side. Ideally, you want it straight up, straight down. You want the ball to do a back rotation because you're snapping your fingers. Your fingers, your first two fingers, always wanna be pointing at your target when you finish. So you're gonna finish it like this. Elbow above your eyes. That was great. Now, the next thing is to add our helper hand. So when you play basketball, you never wanna shoot with two hands, but you're gonna have a helper hand on this side for guidance, just to help keep it in place. So it's not all, when you're shooting, it's kind of hard to balance with one hand. So you're gonna place your hand on the side. I like to letter T, if you can see that T between my thumbs, and then open it a little bit. Now when I shoot, I'm just gonna push right through my, help, my helper hand. I don't actually use this hand, it's just guiding. I could shoot without it, see? I don't need it for my shot, but I'm having it there to help me. So, like that. Want to try it with your helper hand? Let's see. Pretty good, that was really good, let's try it again. And you hold it up, that's great, that's great for me. Now again, you can pick a spot on the wall and you can just shoot it and have it come back to you. Go one, two, three, Four, and get a rhythm. Basketball is a game of rhythm, so you can get your rhythm. You know, member of your knees, member your shoulder width apart, your front foot, you're shooting. If you're left-handed, your left foot would be. Now, we're gonna work on some passing. There's three different kinds of passing. You have a two-handed chest pass. Can I pass to you, Alex? Yeah. You're gonna start in the chest, and you wanna hit them in the numbers. What that means is when they have a number for their jersey, it's right on their chest. So it's gonna be chest, right to chest. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna stand back a little bit so I don't have to. And when you're done passing, your palms are gonna be out, your thumbs are gonna be down. And you wanna to step towards the, your target. So when I pass, I step right towards the one I'm passing to. Let's see it. Perfect. And also, you can have a little bit of backspin if you want. 
or some, yeah, there you go. It's almost like shooting two-handed. And as you pass, you step into it. And you hold your fingers down, your th palms go out, your thumb, perfect. So that's a two-handed chest pass. Now we have something called a bounce pass. If you have somebody who's posting up down low, looking for the ball, you wanna go around them. Pretend you're posting up. Yeah, I wanna give you the ball. So now I step around and pass. You can pass it back to me, nice. Or you can pass this way. So you're trying to go around the defender. This is all you can do. You get a buddy, a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, a friend, or just up against a wall. And you just pass doing this. We always want to step into it. And you want to have it two hands so it's protected, and then you let go with it with one hand. Good job. Two hands, and then in the last second, you push through with the one hand. Good job. Now there's one more called the overhead pass. If somebody is playing defense and they're all over you, you got to get it to them. Can you, do you know what an overhead pass? Yeah. Perfect. You're just trying to get it over them. It's the same kind of idea. My thumbs still go down, my palms go out. I just do it over my head. So those are three passing, different passes. And right now, the drills that you can do at home is just do it anywhere. You can do it up against the wall, you can do it with a brother or sister, but it's just getting these forms down. So we did some passing, we did some shooting, and now we have some dribbling. So dribbling is a big part of basketball. And the more you practice, the better you'll be. So one of the things I like to do when I first start, what well, that my teachers and coaches always told me, is just back and forth. And again, when you dribble, you're using your fingertips, the pads of your fingers. You're not using your, your hand. I wish we had two basketballs so we could both be doing it at the same time. But you go back and forth. The other thing you want to remember always is that ideally, you want to keep your dribble below your knees. So just get used to it, just a little rhythm, back. If you need to, start looking at it. I'm catching it, I'm pushing it, and you see my whole body's going with it. I'm not just sitting here like this, although you can do that too. But right now, I'm just learning the movement, the rhythm. Do you wanna try a little bit? Just back and forth, good, guys. Really good. As you get better and better, you're gonna lift your chin. You're gonna see how many times you can do it without looking. The ball's gonna bounce around, and that's okay. That's exactly part of what getting better is all about. Now, here, good job, guys. Try with one hand. Go back and forth with one hand. And then you want to go faster, faster. Start out slow, get the rhythm. But then you want to start moving faster, faster, right? And then you want to try with your other hand. Another thing with ball, basketball is you protect. You can only dribble with one hand. So you have to have a protection hand. So my left hand was always weaker than my right. But you see now, I was going in front. Now I'm going front to back. Going, pulling it and pushing it. My hand pushes it and then it pulls it. My hand switches this way, you see, watch, front, back. So if someone's coming at me and I need to back up, I go this way. If I want to move a little forward, and you just move around. The other thing you can do is between your legs, right? And you really shouldn't be looking down, you should be looking up. The other thing is called figure eights. Between, back, between. I used to like to do a move like this, and then you come up and shoot back through your legs and shoot because when you do this, they think you're gonna run and you go drive for the layup. So you go back, exactly. And then you come for a, a shot. So these are just a few things you can just dribble around your house. The other thing is do circles around your foot, right? Just keep going, remember look up, go forward, go backwards, go in front, side to side, back to front, and then just do a little finger touches. Wanna to do a little bit of dribbling? Yeah. I, I don't really know. Like <laughs> okay. So well the one thing is it's all about getting better. You know, we all start somewhere and practice is really a big part of getting better at anything. So if you find um, I don't really know how to dribble with my left hand, the more time you put into it, the better you're gonna be. So one uh, one thing that it's kind of a fun basketball drill. It's called the piano. You get down low, and you're gonna dribble with each finger. So I have my pinky, my ring, my middle, my pointy, and my thumb. Now I'm gonna try to do it with every bounce with each finger. See how I do that? So I'm doing boop, 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 boop. You music people can appreciate that. One finger at a time, low. You wanna try it out? Sure. Get the rhythm bounce first. Good, yeah, that's pretty good, Alex. <laughs> She's never done this before, it's pretty good. Great job, Abby. Okay. Then another one is just staying low. This is kind of a fun one, and it's a little bit challenging. 
you lay down, you start dribbling. Now you gotta get up, keep the ball alive. And go right into it. And then there you go, get into it. Back, right? You wanna try laying down and getting up? <laughs> you gotta get the ball going with some momentum and then get up with it as you go, oh yeah! Good job, Abby. That was great. <laughs> so the other thing is, let's do a chest. We'll do a rhythm. We'll do chest pass, bounce pass, overhead. Okay, ready? Chest, chest. Okay, bounce, overhead. Now you do chest, bounce, overhead. Nice. Chest, bounce, overhead. And you can do this kind of drills with your friends, like I said earlier. So now, the, another, another part of basketball that I really wanted to talk to you guys about is body position. Body position is pretty much everything in basketball. We have something called triple threat. And so, Abby, pass me the ball. Can you go right there and pass me the ball? When I catch the ball, what I do right now is very important. If I do this, and let's pretend the basketball is right above you. If I do this, can I shoot right now? No. Can I pass? If all my teammates are down here? No. Can I dribble? I could dribble to the other team's basket. But when someone passes me the ball on my team, I want to be ready. So pass it again. If you notice, in the air, I got my legs ready. So right now, this is called triple threat. My rear end is down, my legs are bent, my feet are ready, kind of like the shooting position, right? If she passed the ball, if I was open, I could shoot it right away. If I saw my teammate open, I could pass right away. If I, after I caught it right now, I could pass it again. That's called triple threat because I'm ready in three ways to be a threat. I can shoot, I can dribble, and I can pass. And what that means is you're getting ready before the ball hits your hand. So you can have somebody pass you the ball and you just practice getting ready with the ball in the air. Whoop, really fast. Whoop. Basketball is being one step ahead even mentally. You want to try it? Sure. It's called triple threat. Ready? Nice. It's okay. A little bit shoulder width, your legs, that's fine. Nice. Right in the pocket. This is the sweet spot right here. Your elbow bring, you get the ball, you bring your elbow in. Now I can pass, I can shoot, I can dribble if I need to, I'm just ready for my choices. So when you catch it, you're in the air, your legs aren't too far apart, they're not too, too split this way. It's kind of in a comfortable, natural position. Yeah, wherever you think, like if you're gonna go run a sprint, just put your legs in that position. You catch it, you lock your ball in, and you're ready to move, shoot, pass, dribble, whatever you want, you're ready, but your legs are bent. I'll try one more time. Nice. Oh, she just chose the shot. She made it, and we won the championship. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good job. Woo. Okay, so that's called the triple threat. Similar is a defensive st stance, the defense position. So if Abby has a ball and I'm on defense, and I do this, go ahead and go by me. <laughs> There's not much I can do. My lines are straight. I'm in a bad position. I wasn't ready. But a defensive position, come back again, hon. The basket is behind us. I'm on defense. Always low. My eyes are here because wherever this goes, the core, that person's going to go to. So you watch their core. You watch their belly button. And that way you can always see where they're going. Don't watch their eyes. Don't watch their head. Don't watch the ball because they can fake, right? They can do this and you go and they go past you. But this always is going to go where they go. So keep your eyes on their belly. So I'm watching her belly and I'm low. Ideally, you want to be lower than she is, your opponent. And actually, after a while, it can burn. This is a great exercise that you can do. If you don't mind, I'll just go right here. Go up against the wall, lean up against it, get your back straight, and just sit. Make sure your legs are parallel to the ground and make sure your knees don't go above your toes because that's not good for your knees. Now as I sit here, my legs start burning. <laughs> You're gonna start feeling it after a while. So time yourself. Say, ooh, five seconds, okay, that was good. Ah, shake it out. And next time, do it for 10 seconds. When I was a little girl, I used to eat my breakfast in a defensive stance. <laughs> my mom would pour my Cheerios, she'd pour my cornflakes, I'd push the chair aside, I'd go to the table where everyone else is sitting, and I was in my defensive stance. And <laughs> Abby's laughing. And after a while, at first it burns, your legs start shaking, it hurts, but after a while you get stronger and stronger. And now, this defensive position, becomes really easy, you don't even think about it, and you're ready. Now one thing with defense, when you push off, you wanna point your foot, your toe, in the direction you're gonna go. So I don't wanna keep my feet straight if I'm gonna go down that way. I open it up and I push. 
So I open it up and my first step isn't, is gonna come off of my back leg, not the, the leg that's not the direction I'm going in, because it's gonna be like hot. So Abby, take a dribble. And it, see how I jumped? I wanna beat her to this spot. So that's why I gotta open up my feet, I gotta be low, and I have to get, move over. So that's body position. Very important for basketball. You know, shooting, we have what else? Dribbling, passing. Passing, body, body position. Body position, yeah. This is basically the game of basketball, technical skills. There's a whole lot more we can talk about being a good teammate. There's a whole lot more we can talk about being coachable to your coaches, listening to your authority. But this is just a few little touches of a quick little teaching video instruction for basketball. Anything you want to add? No. Basketball's a, <laughs> basketball is a fun sport, and the more you practice, the better you're going to be. Thanks for being with us. Bye.